Act 4, Scene 2. So the scene sits off in the Capulet mansion and Lady Capulet, uh, the nurse, and some servants are there arranging uh, for the upcoming marriage to take place, which Juliet actually, as we all know, disagree with. Lord Capulet instructs the servant to invite guests guests of a from a list that he has written down he then orders the next servant to go and hire him 20 cunning cunning in the sense meaning good cooks then there is some little short conversation between him and the servant as the servant replies that he will get him the best cooks and he will test them by asking them to lick their own fingers Lord Capulet is a bit uh, confused about this as how would you test the, the, the skills of a chef by asking him to lick his fingers. Um, the servant then replies, well, his mindset is such that if the chef is willing to lick off his own fingers, then obviously he is a good cook. He loves his food. But if he does not, obviously he's a bad cook hating his food. Um, bit of a problem in my mind <laughs> making a decision like that especially in the COVID time that we're in I would not want to eat from a chef that is forever licking his fingers so next um, Lord Cablet inquires if Juliet in fact did leave to meet with Fire Lawrence as she claimed earlier in order to repent for her disobedience and the, the ugly little um, argument she had with her parents, um, more specifically with her dad, her father, Lord Capulet. A moment later, the nurse exclaims, see where she comes from, shift with merry look. Obviously, she is referring to um, Juliet's demeanor after having spent time with Fire Lawrence and um, he had put her mind at ease as to the plan that they were going to execute. So the father then asks uh, about her whereabouts and to which she replies that um, henceforth, henceforth I am forever ruled by you. By that she obviously means from now on I'll only do whatever you say, which obviously pleases Capulet very, very much. He's very happy and now wants to bring the wedding day even more forward by another day. Juliet assures her father she did meet with Paris when at Friar Lawrence's cell and that all is fine and all is all is okay. That he does not need to bring the 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 the, the, the wedding date uh, forward by another day. So Lord Capulet, Julian's father, is obviously very happy to hear her new um, attitude and how she feels about him and the whole situation of marrying um, a man that her father has chosen for her. Next, Julian asks the nurse to accompany her to her bedroom to assist her. Lady Capulet then um, has a conversation with her husband and tells Lord Capulet that she does not think it's wise that he bring the wedding date a day forward. Obviously, he is a person that does not listen to others and does whatever it is that he pleases. So even here, he does not listen to his daughter. And once again, he does not take heed of the advice of his wife. He just ignores her. Um, Capulet then um, tries to reassure his wife by saying he will stay up the entire night and he will sort out everything. So she needn't worry about anything. And that's the end of scene two.